Welcome everyone to your Angels Digital Report. I'm Carlin Bates and alongside me is Jose Moda. And Jose, we're hanging out here. A beautiful day at the Big A right now. A press conference was held earlier today introducing Angels fans to the new general manager, Perry Manassian. And Jose, you got to listen to that press conference. You appeared on Fox Sports West after, broke it all down with Gooby and Patrick. What was your biggest takeaway from the press conference today? Oh my goodness, the word that everybody wants to hear are words, pitching. That's it. Take care of pitching. And Perry brings such knowledge about uh, evaluating talent, about evaluating uh, amateur talent, about knowing what uh, a team needs to win. This guy's won wherever he's been, uh, fresh off the playoffs with the Atlanta Braves. But I think I really respect the fact that he mentioned one word that really means a lot to me to involve with pitching. The Angels do not need a rebuild. Oh. And I think fans will go, well, wait a minute. They fail. They haven't gone to the playoffs in five years. What's going on? No. It's about the talent that's here. Go out there and maximize it. And there's no doubt. If I'm a player and players do read, as you know very well through social media, or a cousin tells them things, <laughs> they're going to see that this new general manager says there's a lot of talent here, yep. Carlin, yep. and that there's enough talent here to win. Tweak a few things, polish up a few, few things, but the overall, you got to hear that and you got to love it. That word, tweak, that was exactly what they were mentioning. And, and that is great news for Angels fans to hear. And someone else who, you know, just wants to tweak a few things, Joe Madden, he's somebody that is kind of cut from the same cloth as Perry. And the two of them working together, what do you expect from them and kind of Joe's response to this new hire? Oh, Joe is also so refreshed. Talking to Joe in private, he knows that that line of communication can go from up there in that office to the clubhouse to this dugout. It's going to be wide open yeah. and players respect that but for joe it's a matter of understanding that there's somebody with them same wavelength mm -hmm. same language same vocab which is measure the heart of the player know what talent you're working with have passion for the game and competing uh joe as a manager he likes to compete joe wants to be the guy in the other dugout as bad as anybody and having somebody like perry that's going to go out there and support it with whatever talent, moves, staff, or an analytical issues he needs, it's more than welcoming for a guy like Joe Madden who is wearing that smile again because he knows the Angels got a very good baseball person. Well, Jose, Perry's passion for the game started when he was little, little. Like this, maybe this tall, yeah. who knows, but little, little. And started as a bat boy, you know, grew into the, the team that he was working with and started just from here and now he's up here. How important is that to kind of have that understanding of all levels of what it takes to work for a baseball team and just being around baseball for that long? Colin, you know, it's such a very important point you bring up because when you have been around the game as he has for so long from that early age, he's been around superstars. He's been around guys that barely made rosters. And he understands that it takes more than superstars to win ball games. And the overall culture in a clubhouse, in an organization that transcends and filters through the minor leagues, is something that when players get here, you want to see them know it. You know what? I've heard that before. I know exactly what they expect from me, but with the knowledge and also the the you know transcending of generations of players. He mentions a Nolan Ryan, a, you know, a Doug Melvin, Buck Showalter, uh, Cal Ripken, senior and junior. That means that he's been picking up some things from all those brains to allow him to be better, to communicate better, but also to understand what it takes to take care of the number one thing, the toughest job in baseball still. Where? Between those two white lines, regardless of who the manager is, who the general manager is, and somebody that understands that has way more respect from the players. And because of that, they'll go out there and give you a better effort. Well, it sounds like this baseball club is in good hands for this upcoming season. Jose, I'd like to thank you for joining me for this Angels Digital Report. And I'm sorry, but i got to kick you off the field. I know the weather's nice, but we got to go. You're connected, though. Talk to Barney. Nah. Well, Barney, can we stay? we got to go. Barney said we got to go. <laughs> Bye, everyone.